Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As I continue to get through the Evazone submitted, and I really appreciate that you use our partnership uh, software to make it so much easier for me to download and commentate your crystal openings and keep them in really high quality without being compressed. Aiden867, you are finally up for my uh, breakdown of your opening. And it is worth noting that I'm currently working with Evazone to come up with a unique contest idea to help uh, pay for some Cyber Weekend uh, offers. So, uh, as always, this is of no cost to you to sign up. And it is uh, really beneficial for me and my ability to get through more videos quickly and shout people out. And remember, I don't do these commentaries for views. The average revenue earned is between like 50 cents and $3. But it's knowing that I'm making somebody's day. And I honestly view this as a commercial for the game. If I am encouraging somebody to record their opening to make it on my channel, that means that they're going to play the game more and hopefully enjoy it and have a goal. And I think that's a win-win. So for everybody out there, and there are many, who think my channel just exists to criticize Kabam or the game, remember that the commentary series is literally just here to inspire people to play the game, have some fun, and hopefully hoard crystals. So Aiden867 has started with two featured six star crystals. Remember, for a lucky few alt accounts, or maybe just accounts that haven't played in a while, uh, you've been sent, in in some cases, not all cases, but some cases, a free featured six star crystal, depending on progression level, with a free six star nexus. I would highly encourage you to check that account information if you haven't logged in in three plus months and see if you indeed have the special. A lot of people don't, but some people do. Speaking of exciting, though, how about a six-star Gore? I know he's not the highest-hyped featured champion in this uh, um, you know, lot. It's not like he's Quicksilver or Galactus, but he's still really solid. So we have Gore, and then we have Titania. Two for two. It literally cannot get better in terms of feature drop rates than this. And I feel... For those of you out there, I had I had somebody in my live stream last night who said, Prof, please pray for me. I have opened 10 of the new featured six-star. Retail price, 150,000 six-star shards before the Black ISO store discount. And I have opened zero featured. Now, I do count OG Scarlet Witch as an unofficial member of the featured crystal because she is yet not in the basic, and to me, that's the definition of a featured, besides the 4.2% drop rate versus the 0.5% drop rate. It's actually even less than that now. But, uh, yeah, two for two. All right, I don't know what else is here. You can, you literally cannot do better than that. You can tie it, and maybe you can do better in terms of the champions in the crystal, but uh, not in terms of feature drop rates, 100%. That's crazy. All right, now we have a bonus for six-star basic crystals. Now, the six-star basic crystal remains the biggest gamble in the game because there are just so many average to trash champions like OG Captain America that need to be buffed. But Cosmic Ghost Rider is not one of them. However, what a troll to a champion that we, in theory, can get for free at the end of this month. And he didn't even show what sig he's at because he clearly doesn't care enough to show it. He also might be a little uh, perturbed, a little disturbed, a little annoyed that the Cosmic Ghost Rider was the troll for that crystal. He is so hard to pull. I see very few six-star Cosmic Ghost Riders now being pulled in the six-star basic. Don't tell me that he has the same drop rate as Iron Fist. Here is Ronin, the Hawkeye version. And uh, shout out to Allison, not a hacker, who uh, does better things with her three-star Ronin than I can do with most of my six-star champions. She is that talented, that skilled. She always amazes me with her gameplay and makes it to where she has to literally send videos to the channel because when she completes fights, people wonder why her account hasn't been flagged because it looks impossible for a three-star to do that much damage. Well, then she has the video proof, and people just have to sit back and say, dang, that's that's actually pretty impressive. Speaking of Ronin, we have the other Ronin that it uh, actually did a positive troll role, though he can be good like a couple times a year depending on how many buffs the defender has. There's the dad bod in this. So an interesting positive batch of six star basic crystals still not where the featured crystal was but uh you know not bad not bad at all all right here is the last of the four 
and technically the last of the six. And there's Cosmic Ghost Rider again. There's Cosmic Ghost Rider again, and that is a haunted troll. Do you want to be haunted by Cosmic Ghost Rider? Maybe that should be the title of this video. Because shout out to Sawyer, who is always going to love Karnak as his favorite champion. Still got five new, and look at that. It's not like this account is so stacked. Like, the amount of hoarding that it took to submit this, Aiden, is so impressive to me. And I really do respect when players don't have a lot of high-ranking six stars, have every reason to open them, and yet they still save them to submit something to my channel. That just means I'm the most blessed, lucky person in the world for what I get to do on this full-time hobby. Uh, Aiden, thank you for the submission. Hopefully this made your day. And as always, stay tuned for more submissions, particularly during Cyber Weekend. It's going to get crazy.